I'm selling my piano. Oh my god. Adrian's come around today uh, to tune up this old Beale, which I've had since I was about 12. It's the piano that I've grown up on and always played, you know, throughout my teenage years. It's always been in the household and now I'm selling it. The thing is that I never really chose this piano, you know, it, it was always in the household. It was a gift from my mum's best friend to my mum. The thing was, it was that she was actually moving to Australia and couldn't quite sell the piano, so she basically gave it to us. So it's not actually my piano. It technically, I guess it's my mother's. But now I've found a piano that really speaks to me and I, ba I want that piano, you know? And unfortunately we need to make space for it in the house. So I'm getting this one ready for sale. Yeah, I've just been watching Adrian tune up this piano. Fascinating process. Um, it it's beyond me, you know. I <laughs> I don't think I could ever be a piano tuner. I think is there a button on your? There is. Do you hear that clicking? Yeah, hear oh, it. true. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, well I'll have to. Um, yeah. It's also just been so long since I've made a video, you know? I've been so in my head about my videos over the last year that I haven't done anything. You know, my, my overthinking of the matter has, has completely stifled my creativity and, and what I want to do is just, just get back into making videos and really I want to just be spontaneous about it. Like, like for example this, I saw Adrian like tinkling away on it and, and you know tuning it up and I thought man I want to record this and heck yeah I should record this because after all my pian um, my YouTube channel is, is a piano channel of course I should make a video about you know selling my piano the one I've grown up on I think it's only right and I'm excited to, to just get making videos and, and this is this is um yeah this is me doing that so uh, yeah <laughs> Oh, wow, so I just hit um, I just listened to the recording and it sounds amazing This piano sounds so beautiful. Um, I feel sad that it, it, you know, it's It's leaving my hands. It's leaving my household. That's that's really it's, a, it's a, it feels like a shame now that I've heard You know what this piano can really do what you know, it's 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 full scope. It's full flavor. It's um It's character, you know, I, I think I really caught that in this recording, so um, I'm thrilled. I'm I'm really happy with with this piece of music that's you know uh, come forth in this final hour of well, it's not the final hour. I haven't even sold it yet, but <laughs> you know you know what I mean. Um, I have so much to thank for this piano. Um, words don't do it justice. I mean, music does, and I think I've I've done that with this piece of music I've recorded. I've, I've even come up with a name. I'm thinking of calling it Goodbye Piano Friend or, or something like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little little vlog, I guess, this little um, snippet of, of my, my life as a pianist, you know, selling this piano, getting it ready for sale. Um, you know, I'm taking good care of it. I, I hope the, the next owner of this piano takes good care of it. I hope that it, it doesn't become one of those pianos that just sits in the lounge or, or the living room of, of a house and, and just kind of gets forgotten, builds up dust, you know, this is the sad fate of so many pianos and it's really, it's really heartbreaking to see, you know, these pianos that just kind of get forgotten and 
because they're just a piece of furniture. Pianos are not just a piece of furniture. Pianos have character, they have soul. They need to be nurtured and cared for and, and the best way to do that of course is with music. And um, I just hope for the best, you know, that's what I'm saying here. Anyway, thank you for watching, and um, please, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Um, thank you. See ya.